the prime factorization of 7560 is to do the prime factorization first we should frame it in this way c that is 7560 okay next for this number the last digit is 0 so we take 5 here the first number is 7 a number close to 7 in 5 table is 5 ones 5 7 minus 5 2 2 carried forward making it 25 When do we get twenty-five in five table? Five five is twenty-five. The other number six. A number close to six in five table is five ones five. Six minus five one one carried forward making it ten. When do we get ten in five table? Five two is ten. For this number, last digit is two, which is even, so we take two here. The first number is one, one smaller than two, so we take two numbers. That is fifteen. Whenever we take two numbers, compulsory we should put zero. But zero at the start doesn't count, so no need to write zero at the start. So here we have fifteen. A number close to fifteen in two table is two sevens fourteen. Fifteen minus fourteen one one carried forward making it eleven. A number close to eleven in two table is two five ten. Eleven minus ten one one carried forward making it twelve. When do we get twelve in two table? Two six twelve. For this number last digit six even so we take two here. The first number is seven. A number close to seven in two table is two three six. Seven minus six one one carried forward making it fifteen. A number close to fifteen in two table is two sevens fourteen. Fifteen minus fourteen one one carried forward making it sixteen. When do we get sixteen in two table? Two eight sixteen. For this number last digit eight even so we take two here. The first number is three. A number close to three in two table is two ones two. Three minus two one one carried forward making it seventeen. A number close to seventeen in two table is two eight sixteen. Seventeen minus sixteen one one carried forward making it eighteen. When do we get eighteen in two table? Two nines eighteen. For this number last digit nine not even. So this number not divisible by two. Next prime number three. to check divisibility by 3 for that we add the digits that is 1 plus 8 plus 9 we get 18 is 18 divisible by 3 yes so this number also divisible by 3 so we take 3 here the first number is 1 1 smaller than 3 so we take two numbers that is 18 Whenever we take two numbers compulsory, we should put zero. But zero at the start doesn't count, so no need to write zero at the start. So here we have eighteen. When do we get eighteen in three table? Three six eighteen. The other number nine. When do we get nine in three table? Three three is nine. For this number, last digit three not even, so this not divisible by two. To check divisibility by three, for that we add the digits. That is six plus three nine. Is nine divisible by three? Yes. So this number also divisible by three. So we take three here. The first number six. When do we get six in three table? Three two six. The other number three. When do we get three in three table? Three ones three. Now here we have twenty one. Twenty one is three sevens twenty one. Now we have seven. Seven is a prime number, so seven ones seven. We got one here. So the prime factorization of seven five six zero is the product of these numbers.
okay product of these numbers that is 5 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 and finally 7 so this is the prime factorization of 7560 this also called as product of prime numbers of 7560 am i clear